Did you know that God loves you and his desire is for you to be a part of his family? And ultimately, you're a part of a plan for this world. Some may think that saying such a thing is crazy or arrogant. How can we know what God thinks? Well, we know what God thinks because we have God's word, the Bible. Romans 5, 8 says, God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Some have noted that people have a God-shaped hole in their heart and that you can never be complete without God in your life. Well, I find that to be true. Are you a broken person? Have you been through a lot? Have you made mistakes? Well, we all have. But the good news is that God sent his son Jesus to save you and reconnect you back to God. When you begin your relationship with God, you find fulfillment and understand your place in the world. God can and will teach you, heal you, and restore you. The Bible teaches in Ezekiel 36 that God will change your heart from something cold and hard into a heart of flesh where you can truly love and be loved by God. God is the missing puzzle piece in your life. But there's also a greater understanding of our place in God's family. Each person is themselves a puzzle piece which God wants to place in the right place in the right way. And when you understand your place in God's kingdom, it's like being fit perfectly into a worldwide puzzle, completing God's picture. God has a plan for you, and it's better than your plan. God's plan is to see you do well in your life, to do well as a son, a daughter, a father, or a mother, and God will teach you how to live a good life and be a blessing to the puzzle pieces around you that make you who you are. But that plan won't be fulfilled until you give up trying to run things on your own and give your life to God. If you find yourself watching this video and you're ready to pray this prayer with me, I call it the ABC prayer. I used to teach it to the little kids in my Jesus Club. I taught them that accepting Jesus into your heart is as easy as A, B, C. You ask Jesus into your heart, you believe that he died on the cross and rose again, and you confess your sins to him. It is so easy. Tell him you belong to him today. Tell him that you love him and your life will be new.